Okay, so I have been looking through my comments and I've seen a lot of people ask me like, how do I get my animated backgrounds on my PC? This process is super easy to do and it makes your PC look beautiful with a variety of different colors, a variety of different types of brands you could put on there and different looks and styles. And the animations are subtle and not annoying to a point where you can't even use your PC. So let me show you how it's done and get a background just like this. So all you need to get this process started is that you need to have Steam and you need to have $4. Now if you don't have Steam, don't worry, I'm going to link it in the description down below for all you guys out there. And once you're on Steam, just type in the search bar, look for Wallpaper Engine. It is going to be $4, so just make sure you have $4 in your bank account for this. Once you bought it, go ahead and download it and open it up. So here, once you open it up, you're going to see a ton of different options. If you guys were wondering what type of backgrounds I had in the past, I had the background called Abstract Landscape and also Razor Vortex. That is the one I currently have at the moment. But don't worry, don't copy what I have. If you go over to the Discover tab, just click on that and you can see hundreds and hundreds of different options of what you can choose from. Now, let's say there's a specific theme that you're looking for. What you could do is just go over to the search engine right here, type in whatever you're looking for. In my case, let me say I was looking for something with Destiny. I could just type that in and we could look at this one. This one's Destiny 2 Warmind in 4K. Now, just to note, just because some of the backgrounds do not have an animation on the thumbnail does not mean they're not animated. If you're not sure, just go ahead and subscribe and download it and you're gonna see for yourself that it is in fact animated and you can make any adjustments as you please. Once you click on subscribe, it's gonna download it. And as you can see from my background, it just changed over to that Destiny Warmind. Now what's really cool is that since I have two displays on at the same time, it actually split it because I have it set to stretch. Now in order for that to happen with your monitors, if you do have more than one monitor, all you have to do is under properties down on the right side panel, go over to alignment and make sure it's on cover. Now let's say the playback rate is just too much, it's way too distracting and I can't get work done because all I see is these little flakes going everywhere. What I could do is just go over to the playback rate and I could drag this all the way down to like let's say 10. And as you can see it's much more subtle. You definitely see that there's an animation going on but it's not as distracting as it was before. There are some other options you could choose from. If you want you can go down to show color options and you could adjust the brightness, the saturation, the contrast and the hue effect if you want to. Um, if I wanted to flip it I could just check this off and it will flip this whole background. If I want to change the position to only be on one side of the screen for the main part, I could just move the position up and down. And if I wanted to change the scheme color, I could do that as well. This actually, you won't see this because it's actually covering the entire screen, but let's say I change the alignment to, um, let's see, free. You're going to see these purple bars. They're going to be on both sides. I could change that color with the scheme color. So that's another option that you could choose from as well. And that is basically it in a nutshell. Now, one thing I didn't notice, actually something that I found out as I was recording this video was that some of the backgrounds actually have their own little music to play along with the animation. This is what I found with the Destiny 2 Arc Shredder animation. If this is something that you personally enjoy, I would say leave it on. Me, since I sometimes have other music playing as well, I think I'm just gonna have it off, but it's another option for you as well. Now, if you wanted to, you can create your own different wallpapers by going down to the wallpaper editor. And from here, you just have to drop in a still photo and you can add in different animations. I'm personally not going to go through it with this video just because it's going to take a while to go through. And personally, I think that all the backgrounds that come with Wallpaper Engine are actually really, really nice and they give you hundreds and hundreds of options. So really, I personally would just go with what they have rather than just creating your own. 
But for now, I think I'm just gonna go with Demon Core. I think this looks pretty cool. I actually just changed up the colors recently behind the scenes and uh, I think this is gonna be the new background going forward. One more thing I did forget to mention was to make sure you go over to settings and under general, make sure you have start with windows checked off. That way, this background always pops up every single time you start up your computer. If you want, you can copy my settings that I have under performance, but at the end of the day, it's up to you and what your PC can handle. Now, in terms of whether or not this is gonna put a strain on your GPU, well, I tested it with mine and I don't see any notable difference. But then again, I do have a 3090 in my system. So then again, I'm probably not the best test subject. But if you do run Wallpaper Engine on your system and you do see any types of lags, or if you don't see any types of lags, let me know in the comment section down below because I bet there's a lot of other people that would love to know that as well. Other than that, if you guys have any questions regarding this or anything else that you see in my setup, make sure you guys let me know. I'm happy to make a video on it or I'm happy to help you out and answer any questions that you might have. Make sure you subscribe for more content just like this and make sure you like the video because it does help out my channel in the long run. But anyways guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching, but as always, peace out.